Hello out there YouTubers there. God bless you out Christ Spiritual Cyberspace. Me, George and Betty Cully, uh, bless you today. Have a blessed Thanksgiving coming up here. Won't be long here. About uh, nine more days here in USA. I have a new prophecy tonight. Prophecy on an emergency alert system. We're seeing some uh, Bible prophecy being fulfilled here. They had a test uh, last week. First time a national uh, emergency alert uh, system test. That's a public warning system in the nation's first time it ever happened here in the radio and uh, on a TV. It was on cable TV systems and uh, wireless systems and uh, all radio and TV. It was an emergency uh, alert system. But uh, fearless leader Obama is getting ready here. The Antichrist Obama. You know, I think he's about ready to start a war with Iraq, Iran and test the system here. What's happening here? And uh, Anyway, uh, we had a kind of a, a blackout in Southern Illinois. It didn't do too good in Chicago. The link down here to the Southern Illinois radio system. I listen to Christian radio station WXAN 103.9 FM, and there was no uh, emergency alert system. There was kind of, they were testing the system. I believe they're getting ready here with a new world order with the Antichrist Obama here to start this Iran war here. To get uh, pre uh, prepping the people, get ready because he knows his re-election campaign. This nation is divided. Worse since the uh, Civil War, uh, when Abraham Lincoln was president of the United States and gridlock in Congress, and, and right now it's a divided nation, half and half is divided in half. Uh, he on his Mason Dixon uh, line democracy and a war that unites. The Congress that unites the Republicans, unites the Democrats and the Tea Party, the nation. And I think President Obama's going to uh, do uh, this false flag to start a war right now. And that's what's happening on this emergency system. FEMA was behind this emergency alert system and Homeland Security. And don't be surprised in the next uh, 30 days, 60 days, or maybe six months that President Obama will start a nuclear war with Iran. Don't be surprised because I had that dream about it in July 2006. Uh, it's been about five and a half years ago what's going to happen. So that's the prophecy tonight. We never had these things before. Homeland Security is behind this. The New World Order. FEMA is behind this emergency alert system. What we've seen the other day. We've seen Bible prophecy being fulfilled. Keep your spiritual eyes open. Keep your spiritual ears open, and uh, you see the handwriting on the wall. Read your newspapers every day. You're seeing Bible prophecy being fulfilled, and for God's glory. So that's the word of the Lord tonight, where these things are happening. In the last days, we see these things are happening for God's glory. And I just love you out there in uh, YouTube tonight, in uh, Spiritual Christ Cyberspace. Me and Betty love you. We're praying for you. Be praying for me and Betty. We're on the brink of a miracle here. And 2011 just about uh, gone. And there's a new day dawning and a new day coming. 2012 knocking at the door. We're going to see a lot of changes. A lot of things. Yes, we can in Jesus' name. For God's glory. So, if any of you don't know Jesus Christ tonight out there in North America and South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East, this is your time today. This is the time to turn your life over to the Lord, to make a change in your life before it's too late. There's not much time left. Just uh, let Jesus come in your heart. Maybe some of you never heard the gospel, but Jesus Christ loves you. Jesus Christ died for you. Jesus Christ is returning soon. There's not much time left. We're in Jacob's trouble. We're in the last days. We're in perilous times. And say this prayer with me today, that Jesus Christ come in your heart. He'll change you. He'll Fill that void. There will be no more uh, anxiety or depression or oppression. Or you won't be one or restless nights. God will give you peace, give you sleep. Uh, uh, Jesus, the Prince of Peace. The peace that passed all understanding. The peace, the peace of Jesus Christ. The peace the world can't afford to give you tonight. So say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus Christ, 
we come to you this blessed Thanksgiving season. And we have thankful hearts and thank you for all the blessings you bestow on George and Betty Cully here in 2011. Lord Jesus, I thank you for the many signs, wonders, and miracles. I love my wife. She's the best wife in the world. I lift her up to you. I thank you for her being the, your prophetess to the nation, your praise leader in helping me in the ministry here and help me at least the brother food pantry. But tonight we come in unity, faith, one accord, Lord. The greatest miracle, God. You saved somebody's soul tonight. I pray, God. Oh, God, I pray and fast. Get your hook in their jaw. Let them uh, repent from their wicked ways, Lord. Let them for, uh, you're forgiven for their sin. Let them say this prayer, Lord Jesus. I'm a sinner. Lord Jesus, thank you for forgiving me for my sin. Lord Jesus, thank you for saving my soul. Lord Jesus, my name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. If you said that prayer, Jesus Christ just saved your soul. What a blessed Thanksgiving day here in USA or all around the world. That Jesus Christ just come in your heart. Well, we're rejoicing in you, uh, with you, me and Betty Kelly, at least the brother ministry here in Pinckneyville, Illinois. Uh, write me and Betty Kelly on the YouTube channel. Email us. Tell the good news of praise report that Jesus Christ saved your soul in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East. This is your day. A new day dawning for God's glory. All things pass away. The whole all things become new. You're a new uh, uh, child of Christ. A new creature in Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your holy name. We love you tonight. Thank you, Jesus, for this miracle. Hundreds of people got saved. Thousands of people got saved. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Joy and salvation. Joy unspeakable. Full of glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for coming down and saving your people. They're born again. Oh, Lord, they're born again for your glory. And the hand of the Lord come on you, new creatures in Christ. Keep your hand upon them, Lord Jesus. Fill them with the Holy Ghost and power. Let thy mantle fall double portion on them. Give them deliverance, Lord. Give them healing. Oh, heal them mentally, mostly, physically, spiritually, financially. In the name of Jesus, the many blessings of God. Thank you for your blessed Thanksgiving Day coming up here in USA, God. And we're blessed. Uh, nation of all the nations in the world. Bless your other nations of North America and South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Me and Betty Kelly, we love you in Jesus' holy name. God be the glory. Great things you had done. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.